Mm. Pretend you're waking up in a brand new life. Found what we're looking for in life. Hello you guys, what is up? It is currently like 11.50. I'm in literally the most amazing mood of all time. Like I'm always in like usually like a pretty good mood, but like today is just like hitting different. Today I'm just so happy. I am so thankful. I am so happy to be where I am today on this amazing, beautiful earth. I am so happy that I'm here and I'm just so grateful for everything in my life. And this sounds so cheesy. Like why am I opening up the vlog this way? But I just want to spread like the, these positive vibes that I'm getting right now with you guys And if you guys are in need of some positive vibes, here you go. It's coming from me to you I hope this is putting some sort of smile on your face. I'm just literally in the most amazing best mood today It's gonna be an extra amazing day today. Yeah, I just <laughs> I just wanted to share my energy with you guys right now. So I hope you're soaking some of this in. The sun is shining. It's a, the most beautiful day. Maybe that's part of the happiness that I'm having right now. But when the sun shines, I shine like... I just love the sun so much. Yeah, today I'm going to, I'm going to do a little bit of work right now, and my best friend Julia is actually going in for surgery tomorrow. So today we are going to go out, make her a little care package, so I can bring that to her tomorrow while she's in surgery. I'll drop it off at her house because I don't want to like disturb her because like she's gonna be healing, or I'll drop it off like after her surgery. I'm not sure yet, but I want to get the care package made today for her so that I can drop it off sometime tomorrow. So that's on the bucket list for today. I'm gonna be working, and I really want to watch the sunset today because it's sunny and I feel like there's just gonna be an amazing sunset so gotta watch that I have to so I really want to drive out to a viewpoint tonight to go watch the sunset and yeah I have to actually do a little bit of laundry before I continue doing some work if you guys watch like my last vlog this is like the next day so I have not done my laundry yet so I need to go finish my laundry and yeah whatever part of the day it is for you guys I hope that this inspires you to look at the bright side of things wake up and think of how much you have to be grateful for rather any negative things put those negative things aside and just focus on what you have to be grateful for today and just really look at the beautiful earth and be thankful that you're in it and you're alive and focus on those positive things and i promise you it'll make your day like that much better yeah so okay i'm gonna go do laundry get started also look at this freaking bean oh my god i love her too much like i'm literally a crazy cat lady oh Ooh, maybe i'll do my nails today they're really ratchet so maybe that's a good idea really random but do you okay sometimes i get like really weird stains on shit like this like this orange thing on here i have no idea like i have nothing that orange i don't understand how that orange stain got on there and there's been times where i get like weird orange stains on clothing and i'm like what the hell is this even from like i just don't get it where that orange stain stains are coming from Okay, y'all, so it is currently 1.20, and I'm almost done my jug of water for the morning slash afternoon. So now I'm going to reward myself with a coffee. I've been making like matcha literally every day. Like I haven't had a coffee for a while now. So I'm gonna make myself a coffee, switch it up a little bit, an iced coffee, my classic recipe. I'm so excited. Um, give me a little bit of a kick since it is like kind of the middle of the day. There we go, all gone. Also, we got these flowers for my mom for Mother's Day. Look at how beautiful they are. I'm obsessed with like spring colors. As you can see, my nails literally match the flowers. Green too. Um, I'm obsessed with spring colors right now. Like so beautiful. <laughs> always look forward to making a beverage in the morning like or the even the night before like boom when i'm going to bed i'm always like looking forward to the next day me like i get to make myself a cool drink the next day and enjoy it and honestly one of my favorite parts of the day is just having the luxury and the resources to drink this fabulous coffee or matcha or whatever i make i just appreciate it so much and it is delicious and it just makes me so happy it's the little things you guys just appreciate the little things in life it is such a gorgeous day outside i think i'm going to 
take my work and bring it to the swing bench or something and work outside because it's so beautiful. So let's do that. All right, you guys, so before I go out to edit more, I made lunch, and this is what I made. It's just cucumber, tomato, onion, and avocado. I showed this, like, little recipe in some recent vlog. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this and then go outside and edit. Working from home is honestly so nice. When it's a sunny day, it's, like, the best feeling to come out here. It's so beautiful. So if you guys work from home or if you're just, like, on your laptop and it's a beautiful day, I suggest you go outside because it's just feeling like no other. It's so beautiful when it's a nice day outside and just to enjoy the beautiful days we have. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to finish up on my work, and then I will catch you guys up later. Hey guys, so it is currently like 6.40 and me and Joel are gonna go out right now, shop for Julia's little gift basket. We'll probably go to like Walmart and the dollar store and then we're gonna go to a viewpoint to watch the amazing, beautiful sunset. This is my lazy fit. Um, just wearing sweatpants and a crew neck. Couldn't get comfier than this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. It's gonna be a fun little night. Just got it a shoddy. Okay, so we just um, got back from in Walmart and I bought a little sweatsuit for myself. <laughs> I'll show you guys it later. But I didn't find anything in there for Julia. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to get her, like put in the basket. But I realized like if I go to the dollar store, I feel like there'll be a lot more. Like I'll just get her a bunch of snacks, get her a little cute bag, and then just pick out some fun things. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like the dollar store is going to be better. So we're going to go there quickly. It's already, what time is it? 7.30. So we're going to have to be quick because we want to catch the sunset. <laughs> Got literally a whole bunch of shit, so we good. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. So we just like drove away from the sunset place and now I'm getting we're getting sushi. I'm so excited I haven't got sushi in like a good hot minute. I ordered a yam roll tofu I could touch shafi. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, what is that thing even? You'll see it's basically like tofu with like sauce like deep fried tofu. I'm so excited I'm we're literally so hungry So I'm gonna go pick that up now and I'll oh my god. I'm just so excited for this All right camera eats before we do we got the agadashi to agadashi. I don't really know tofu here and then i got a yam tempura roll joel got a yam tempura roll as well they're here and then what's that again dynamite dynamite roll yum i'm in my basement right now if you guys are curious because i literally never film in here but we're gonna be watching prison break because that's a series that we're watching so if you guys watched it let me know your thoughts because we're on season three, three four i think we just got to season four. four um but it's pretty good so far yes yeah, so we're just gonna eat and watch some prison break yay cute little sushi date okay Okay, we just finished eating. Um, Madison's currently napping in my bed, like, over there, so I don't mind her. I'm going to show you guys what I got for Walmart for myself. <laughs> Went in there for Julia, I ended up getting things for me, so that's great. Um, so I got these navy blue sweatpants. They're just, like, oversized. They're size medium, so they are pretty big, but it's, like, perfect for lounging around the house and just sweatpants to do whatever in because they were only $10, so very inexpensive. So I got these, and I really like the navy color. Then I got... Just a gray crew neck and extra large. Again, oversized, perfect loungewear. Just to wear around the house or wherever. Super comfy and literally $10 as well. So couldn't pass that up because Walmart like gets these sweatsuits in only like on occasion. Like they'll get them every few months and then they'll sell out really fast. So that's all I got from Walmart. As for what I got Julia, I just got her like literally a huge like gift bag full of random stuff. So I basically got her a whole bunch of like candy 
chips, um, some chocolate, and then I got her some painting canvases and a painting, like kind of like a sketchbook that my idea was like that she can like paint in as well. I'm not gonna go through everything because like I don't want to take anything out. She's been wanting to start to paint more, so I got her. That's why I got her like some canvases and like a sketchbook so that she can do that and like have more materials while she's recovering to paint. Um, so Julia, if you're watching this, I hope you like it. Yeah, that's my little haul. Maybe I'll actually try the Walmart stuff on for you guys just for fun. Let's put it on. Okay, so here's a sweater, super, super oversized, which I literally love. It's so comfortable and just so free. And then these sweatpants, honestly, they fit me a lot better than I was anticipating because they are medium. They're super, like the perfect amount of oversized bagginess that I love just to like be super comfy around the house or if I'm going out, like I don't really care. Still love the baggy look. Yeah, and I really like the colors even together. It looks really cute. So yeah, this whole thing was literally $20. So how can I pass that up? But, yeah, it's my little haul. Okay, I'm currently literally sitting on the toilet in my bathroom right now because <laughs> Madison's like sleeping, taking a nap in my room. So I didn't want to be loud for her. I'm drinking my bubbly. Bubblies are the best because it gives you like the satisfaction of drinking a pop, but it's like zero sugar and everything. It's like pretty much just bubbly water and it has a little bit of flavor to it. So these are really good if you guys are like looking to satisfy a pop craving, but going for something healthier and hydrating. Um, anyways, I just wanted to sit down before I end the vlog and talk to you guys about like what I was touching on earlier at the beginning of the day when I was saying like I'm so grateful and so happy. If you guys are struggling to feel grateful or if you guys are struggling to like wake up and be in a positive mindset, I have a little tip for you. So Joel was just telling me he was watching a YouTube video, a guy that we both um, watch on YouTube and he was watching one of his videos and he told me that a tip is to wake up every day and pretend like you're waking up in a a whole like a brand new life meaning like pretend like you started from nothing and then wake up with like a blank mind like wake up with no expectations if that makes sense and wake up like you're a newborn baby and then be like wow like I have such a nice house. I have such, I have a phone. Oh my God. Like, I'm so thankful that I have a phone. I'm so thankful that I have a house. I'm so thankful that I have food in the fridge. Like, just like small things like that. I feel like that's such a good tip because waking up with like a fresh mind is like setting no expectations. Therefore, like everything you see, you're gonna like be grateful for. And having gratitude just will put you in a way more positive mindset, I promise you. Because having gratitude is pretty much just focusing on the positive things rather than focusing on the negative things. And once you start focusing on the positive things, then you're not even even gonna notice the negative things and the negative things are gonna are gonna slowly float like literally out of your life i just feel like it's just so important to sit down and really realize every single day how much you have and what you can be grateful for even if it's just the smallest thing even if you have nothing you can always find something to be grateful for whether it's i got to wake up alive today the sun is shining today anything it's so easy to focus on like the negative aspects of life and focus on the negative things it's almost that like we want that we want to feel pain like we want to feel sorry for ourselves but it's like no tomorrow or whenever like whatever time of the day you are try and make it or if it's night wake up tomorrow morning try and start your next day off with gratitude just literally wake up you don't have to you don't have to write anything down just wake up and look around your room or just sit down and be like just in your head list off the things that you're grateful for and it'll start your day on such a positive note because you'll realize like shit like wow i have a lot of shit wow i have so much to be happy and grateful for so yeah having gratitude and like really noticing everything that i can be grateful for and all the abundance in my life has helped me so much in just overall maintaining a positive mindset throughout the day and throughout my life yeah so i just really encourage you guys to focus on the positive realize how much you have to be grateful for and yeah, try it out and <laughs> tell me how you like it. Okay, this is like really random and off topic, but um, does anyone else go through lip liners at the amount that I do? Not the amount, but like I literally, okay. I had like, I started off with like three lip liners and I lost them all. Then I bought one and then I lost it. Like I just lose them. I don't know how that I just do. And then this one is like recently pretty new. It's the CoverGirl one. And this is like so good. Like I love this one, but it broke. And now there's like none left, which, which makes me so sad. And I have to buy another one. I feel like I just go through these so fast. I need an unlimited supply. I just realized I'm literally still wearing this hoodie. <laughs> yeah, but please let me know if this is like just my issue or anyone else just can't seem to keep their lip liners in shape or not lose them i don't know why i think it's because like i bring it everywhere with me so that's how i lose them but then this just ended up breaking like come on hey guys 